Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and a new leak from user 941 on Twitter, who is also a Mac Rumors forum member who's provided reliable information in the past, just leaked a bunch of features that could be coming with iOS 17. Now keep in mind this is subject to change and could be incorrect, but some of the features are big, some are small, but the first thing is the supported devices. Now I've talked about this before, but there's some good news despite what certain rumors have said, some have said some devices will lose support. Other rumors, and a couple at this point, have said that they've had no difference in support. So as far as iOS 17 is concerned, according to this source, iOS 17 will support iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. Now it could drop support for some iPads with the A9 and A10 Fusion powered devices, but that may or may not be the case. They're not really sure at this point, but at least they're telling us what they think is true and what isn't. Now, as for the features, well, let's break down what they said one by one. There's a lot to go over, and I'm sure we'll see some surprises by the time Apple actually shows this at WWDC in June. We'll expect to see the first beta and what it has in it on June 5th, as many of you know already, so that's when we should see beta 1 with a final release, typically in September, alongside the iPhone 15 models. Now, the good thing is, one of the things most people have wanted is overall stability. And according to the leaker, performance, efficiency, stability, and long-term support for older devices are the main feature of the update, according to the leaker. They claim that the first few betas could be rough for devices with only 3GB of RAM, like we have with this device, the iPhone X. So the iPhone X 8, 8 Plus could be a little bit buggy, but usually the first 1-3 to three betas are always buggy with the latest iOS update. When they go to iOS 15 or 16, the first few betas are pretty terrible. Now the first one many of us have already heard. We've heard that it's going to have a control center redesign. Now this is the second or third leaker who's actually claiming this, that it will get a UI redesign and overall customization changes. That's great news to me as we haven't seen a change really since iOS 11, and I'm not a huge fan of this control center. While it's functional, it just doesn't seem like it's very good in my opinion. It's very disorganized. I think it could be grouped into sections or something else. Now the next one I don't think many of us were really expecting, but Apple is said to be updating focus modes. Continual updates to this with additional settings, maybe some more filters so you could change your sleep mode, maybe have an all new mode, some changes there. So that doesn't really surprise me. They've sort of updated that each year since it's been introduced. The next one I would really welcome, and that's notification settings and changes. So notification center hasn't been great. When you're on the main home screen, you pull down from the top. When you're on the lock screen, you slide up from the bottom. I don't really like the way this works, and I know a lot of people complain about it. To this day, probably weekly I get complaints where they'd like to see that changed, or asking me is there a way to change it so you can change whether or not you slide up from the bottom or from the top. So I think that would be great. Maybe that explains why it's fairly buggy in current versions of iOS, as they may abandon it for a new version in iOS 17. Now, for accessibility users, this could be quite good. We've been talking about this since iOS 16.2 code actually sort of leaked some of this, where accessibility could get an all-new UI change where you can fully customize it based on your needs. 9to5Mac actually had a story on this and showed what it could look like. So if we scroll down, you can see here custom accessibility modes that they found in the UI with different changes and controls and much more. So that would be great to see. Maybe they were just waiting until iOS 17 to get it right and then release it with that. Also the next one that would be great is widgets. Widgets may be interactive in iOS 17. However, the leaker says that this is in testing and may or may not make it to the final version, meaning we would have buttons that we could use here, whether that's the music widget or something else, maybe sliders or maybe just a next button for the tracks. Something like that would be welcome, I'm sure, with iOS 17, where the widgets really are nice to have, but they don't really do anything. So it would be great to see an update there. Now we've been using our phone as a car key for a while. If you use a Tesla or a Rivian or BMW, different manufacturers allow you to use them. Hyundai, Kia, you can use your phone, but the built-in car key works with BMW and that's said to get some updates in the wallet app as well. So that's something we could see. That doesn't really surprise me. I think we're going to get that anyway. But one nice thing that I think 
I wasn't really expecting is the health app is said to be getting an updated interface with big changes. So if we go into health, some of the changes would be a new favorite section that would get fully redesigned. I haven't really updated this much lately, and then maybe have some new features in it, maybe categories that you could customize for your favorites. So that could be very nice just an updated health app that might go along with what we expect to be an updated UI for watchOS 10. So maybe that's part of that altogether. Now the next one is a pretty big one that I would think would be fairly significant if it comes to all phones. And that is the camera app is said to get some changes. Now apparently, according to the leaker, they were originally planning for iPhone 14 Pro models to have this updated. And that made sense given that they made it a 48 megapixel camera with some new features, but it never really made it to final production. However, the new UI may only arrive for iPhone 15 Pro models or 15 models in general. We don't really know for sure yet, but either way, I would love a little bit of a redesign, maybe some settings directly in the camera app, maybe more customization, pro modes, and more. So that would make a lot of sense. I really hope Apple does something like that but hopefully they don't reserve it just for iPhone 15 models. I would love to see it on current iPhones. I think it needs a much needed overhaul overall. The next thing is Spotlight Search. They're claiming it will be much improved with iOS 17. While I currently think it's decent, maybe they're integrating AI into it. Apple apparently had an AI conference with some of its employees, so maybe there's something more to that that we just don't know yet. Now, specific to iPhone 14 and then iPhone 15 models with the Dynamic Island is more functionality, which apparently is a big push from marketing as it's going to be a core feature of iPhone 15s, as all models are said to get that instead of the notch. So more functionality, many people have wanted that, maybe some more customization with the, the functionality of the Dynamic Island, different apps that could interact with it, and much more. Also with the Pro models with always on display, they're said to get some updates there. So not just on and off or small customizations, maybe we'll get some full customization. Instead of just showing wallpaper and notifications, maybe we'll be able to move them around a little bit or show specific things. We don't know yet, but that would be very nice. Now, one thing Apple is said to be showing at WWDC is an all new AR, VR, or mixed reality headset. And part of that has been implemented within iOS, and we've seen that encode over and over as Reality OS or XROS. According to the leaker, AR is said to have a huge amount of frameworks implemented into iOS 17. That would allow developers and Apple to use more functionality of the iPhone, maybe like the late LiDAR on the Pro models, to use augmented reality. So that's something we could see, makes a lot of sense. We already have a bunch of it there. It's said to get a huge update with iOS 17. And also they were asked on Twitter if side loading would be something we would see. Side loading is something that will be required by the European Union, and apparently it will be in iOS 17, but just for the EU, meaning you could side load apps, have a secondary app store, Apple probably wouldn't implement this in the US unless they had to, but it seems like something they'll probably do if they have to comply with those standards, just like USB-C on the iPhone 15 models. So all of those things are said to come to iOS 17. Now again, all of this could change, it could be wrong, I would expect at least a few of these to be right, but we don't know this for sure. It's a leak. We don't know until June 5th, until Apple actually shows it off. Now, as far as iPad OS, we haven't really heard anything about it. I would expect the same updates if they do intend to update the widgets with different interactions. Well, we should see that on iPad as well. Maybe we'll get some additions to monitors, but we really don't know. There hasn't really been any leaks at all about iPad OS 17, but since it's a similar code base, you can expect all of the changes with iOS to go over to iPadOS for the most part. Now, as far as features we'd like to see, well, I asked many of you on Twitter and on YouTube many times, and most of you want to see stability is the first thing, and the second thing would be split view. Multiple apps at the same time, not just a simple app switcher like we have now. I think it would be great to have split view. It's already built into iPad. They could easily move it over to iOS, but it could take some time for developers to implement that since they'd have to rewrite their apps to sort of scale to the size of the window, or maybe Apple would have a clever way of making that work on their own. Either way, that seems to be one of the most wanted features other than stability and reliability. Apple's really been missing out with reliability and overall stability and just battery life and things being odd. I think it would be great to have a stability update first with a few different changes here and there. 
Let me know what you'd like to see and what your thoughts are on this big leak that just came out. Let me know your overall thoughts about that. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.